Welcome. We're going to be learning how to make a game in Visual Studio. The game will look kind of like this. Basically, we have a basic interface with a game where we've got a ship and it's going to avoid the aliens and when the aliens get to this red line, it gives us an extra score. If the aliens collide with the ship, we lose a life. So this is the basic game. You'll notice how it's got three different levels, three different sections. The first section is the top section, this is the playground level, and this is the user interface. We're going to have a title widget, we're going to have a score and lives left part, NPCs, which are the aliens, and a ship. We're going to have game controls, and we're going to have to program a number of things. We're going to have to program some key bindings so that that can move the ship backwards and forwards, up and down. We're going to have to have the aliens move automatically. They are also going to move in such a way that it would interact with what the ship is doing. There's also going to be some collision detection. And we're going to have to put the aliens and the ships, the actual graphics in. We're actually going to have to program it so that when it goes past this red line, it actually will actually score. And we're going to have to create some bindings for this so that when you press those buttons, they actually respond. So the basic interface. This is split up into three sections, and we need to import Hinter, import time, import random. We're going to have to create a root directory with a geometry of a 1200 by 1000. We're going to have to create three different canvases on three different levels with three different heights. So this first one, the top one, will have a height of 50. The second one will have a height of 800. The third one will have a height of 150. And the first one will be in row one, no, row zero. Then the second will be in row one, and the third will be in row two. It will need to have a main loop. So it will also have to have a title widget, and this is how we actually program that title widget. It's root dot title open brackets aliens attack. Then we're going to have to set up a score system. So the way that we're going to be doing this is we're going to be setting up two global variables, one called score and one called lives. And so you just set them up by saying global score and then you give the score equal to zero. And then we're going to put the score on a label, and that score is going to need to be changing with the variable as the variable changes. This score will change, but the score dot dot will not change. And so what you've got, you've got the text equaling in brackets, inverted commas, score, colon, a space there, very important to add that space just from aesthetics, and then um, inverted commas. Then you add the plus sign, and then you've got the score variable, but it needs to be located as a string. And so we put str before it. That means that it will work. We're going to give it a green background, a white foreground or that font color, and a size of 50. And then we're going to place it down by 15 and across by 50. And so we've got the same thing over here, but this is the lives um, label. And you can see lives left, and then it's dealing with the lives over here. But this time we've got a background color of red, and the X position is actually 1040. So then we're going to place in these buttons down here, these game controls, and we're going to organize them. Okay, and this is how we will do that. But let's first go to this point in the video. We'll go to this point and show you how to do all of these. So what we've got to do is we've got to import the Kinta package. So from Kinta, import all so the start is all okay 
and then we need to import time because we're going to be using some time variables and we're going to import random because we want this to be a little bit random in the way it works so that it's never the same ever it always is changing I'm going to create a root directory um, root equals TK open brackets close brackets and we're just going to make that root uh, the main loop um, that means that it's going to keep running around and round and programming the program will keep running around in here so that's the first part of our programming so we've created all we've done is created a widget Of a certain size we haven't actually told ourselves what size that's going to be but here's our widget and we're just going to now extend that out so that it's a, um, 1200 by a thousand the way we do that is we put root dot geometry and you can see it comes up there and we've got uh, 1200 X is the word X 1000 and that's going to give us our size. Now we're going to create a top canvas. Top equals canvas. And we're going to put that top inside the root directory. And we're going to give that a width of 1200 and a height of 50. We are also going to make it black. So we go background equals black and we're actually going to place it inside that particular um, uh, canvas so we're going to place it inside the um, the root directory so we're going to create it in a grid so we're going to say column equals zero and row equals zero And that's going to place it in there nicely. Well, let's see what that looks like. So what have we got here? We've got an unknown width. Oh, look at that. I've spelled width wrong. These are all little things that you just need to be aware of, but spelling does count. So here is that particular canvas, and we can see what it looks like over here, that we've got a row height of 50, and we've got a width that it goes right across. So our next little part of our program is we've got to create the playground. So we're going to call it playground. Um, and that is equal to canvas. And we're going to put that inside the root directory. And we're going to make the width of that equal to 1200 again. But this time our height is going to be equal to 800. Then we're going to make the background color of that equal to white. And I think that's all we've got to do. And then we just need to grid that in place. So playground.grid. And we're going to put that in column will equal zero. Um, and the row will equal one this time. So that will be below the top canvas. And the final canvas that we've got to actually add is the user interface. And this will be uh, a canvas, of course, and that will be in the root directory. It will have a width of 1200. It will have a height of 150. It will be black in the background as well. Um, uh, and we've got to grid it in place. I'm just going to user interface, unsure interface, user, spell it right, interface, let's use this IntelliSense there, um, dot grid, open brackets, column, equals zero again and the row this time is equal to two so if I run that the 
it's got some errors. Well, what are the errors? Let's see if we can work out what the errors are. I can see what the errors are. There's a dot there instead of a comma. And so I'm just going to change that to comma. We always need commas in between parameters. So let's have a look. There we go. It looks like it's working. And there it is. So we've got the black up here, the black down here, and the white here. So let's um, change the name of the um, title. So let's go root dot title. And we're going to say that aliens attack. And we'll have some inverted commas, uh, or some apostrophes there, not apostrophes, some exclamation marks. So we've got aliens attack up there. So this is just starting to look a little bit better, looking like it should. We're going to create the top up there with the score and the live straight away. So let's uh, create the global variable, global uh, score, and score, wow, let's try that again, score, and keeps changing that, sorry, score, and we're going to say that score is equal to zero okay and we're going to set up a global for lives and lives is equal to three okay so now we're going to create some labels for that so let's have a look at how we do that so the first one we're going to say is score label and that is a label and what we're going to do with that label is we're going to put it into the top um, the top widget and we're going to say that the text is equal to score colon and just go across there and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a plus sign and we're going to, going to concatenate the score over here but we need to as I was explaining before make sure it is a string so we put str open brackets and then we just put in the name of the variable um, so there's the variable there now we're going to put in the background color for that so the background color for the score will equal uh, green and the foreground color or the text color FG is equal to white. And then we're going to place that score label, place score, <laughs> score label. I'm going to place that, dot place it. And where are we going to place it exactly? We're going to place it at x equals 50 and y equals 15. Let's see what that looks like. So we can see up here we've got score is equal to zero and it's green and it's in the right place. We could actually give it some padding if we really wish but we're not going to do that right now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to create the lives label and this will equal a very similar thing so we're just going to grab all of this um, and paste it in here so it'll be a label it'll be in the top and let's just change some of these things so lives left okay lives left and instead of score it will actually be lives and instead of green, we'll change that to red. And so then we just need to place that. So I'm just going to grab this again, paste that in there. But this time it's going to be at 1,040. But it's going to be the same uh, height down. So let's see what that looks like. So now we've got score over here. 
but we're missing the red. Why are we missing the red? Let's have a look. Don't know what the difference is, but there is what's happening. So, just having a look here. Oh, I've got the font of 50. That's the difference. So there's the code that will bring that up. That's the end of this video, video one, and we are going to move on to the next video. See you then.